Welcome to another edition of Lawn Artist. My name is Mark Monlux. I'm a freelance illustrator in Tacoma, Washington, and whenever I have legal issues, I call up my good friend Daniel Abraham. I'm Daniel Abraham, former illustrator, current attorney, serving the art community, and I enjoy discussing issues with Mark Monlux. The issue we're going to be discussing today is a court case called uh, New York Times versus Tassini. But first, a disclaimer. Daniel, Tassini was the uh, president of the Writers Union, and he was upset with the New York Times taking articles that he had submitted to the U New York Times and then posting them on the internet. Can you elaborate on this for us? Um, I will do my best, Mark. The thing is, Tassini and a number of other writers sued the Times because they were reproducing their work for the print edition of the Times online. They tried to say this was a different usage, that it was a derivative. They half won, half lost, because the, the Supreme Court ended up saying that they were not in that the Times was not entitled to reproduce this work, but not because it was online, but because it was reproduced out of context. So, what should someone look for in a contract when it says in context? Is that a good thing? Is that to if you see a standard contract from a client where it says that they are going to only reproduce something in context you've got an illustration and it will only be reproduced in context with the article that accompanies it that is a good thing because what that does is it says that the image is only going to be reproduced with the article it was originally intended to be with thank you daniel that that's covers the bullet points of Tassini versus New York Times. If you're interested in this and other court cases, please submit a comment in the doodly-doo below. Thank you.